At Gaza's biggest hospital, Shifa has also become a refugee camp. In recent days, more than 1,000 people have fled to these grounds. They've lost their homes and the shelters are full. It's Ramadan, the holiest month for Muslims, and Ramadan has also become a casualty of the fighting. Shifa may be one of the safest places in Gaza, and it's where these people try to observe the breaking of fast, Eftar, the best way they can, except for the Swerky family. There was not enough donated food for everyone, and this night there was no food for them to break the fast. All we had was water. My daughter was so hungry, she tried to bite her brother. And this child chews on a cup instead of his dinner. In this Ramadan, no one at Shifa is untouched by the war. Dr. Iyad Abed is a cardiovascular surgeon who treats the victims day and night. Many of the 4,000 injured and 700 killed have been bought to Shifa. But he's never seen Shifa as a shelter for refugees. This is a hospital, not for people coming and uh, living there. So the first time, the, and very, as seen, very bad. They're coming in and our um, toilets and our uh, the, the department and, and uh, uh, rooms of patients. They're uh, sleeping there. And now he's had to find shelter for his own family. Four days ago, they escaped an Israeli artillery shell that blasted into their apartment without exploding. His family of four children were saved. This is my kid's room. It was the bomb through my whole, uh, the whole, whole home. It was uh, one meter hole. It was um, without bombed. The newest arrivals at Shifa these days are also the latest casualties in the fighting. But the newest arrivals now include refugees. Um Ahmed brought her children to Shifa, where her daughter lies in a coma from shelling a few days ago. And Shifa will also be their shelter. Where shall I go? My house has been destroyed. I'm taking my children to stay with my daughter. For these people, Shifa is only a haven that has not bought an end to the misery. This has been the worst Ramadan ever. We've never had it like this. We can't perform the rituals or prayers. At Shifa this Ramadan, they're praying for an end to the war. Um Ahmed is hoping for a miracle this Ramadan as she goes to see if her daughter is still alive. The Swerky family is praying for another kind of miracle this Ramadan, their food for the night. <laughs>
that has not brought an end to the misery. This has been the worst Ramadan ever. We've never had it like this. We can't perform the rituals or prayers. At Shifa this Ramadan, they're praying for an end to the war. Um Ahmed is hoping for a miracle this Ramadan as she goes to see if her daughter is still alive. The Swerky family is praying for another kind of miracle this Ramadan, their food for the night. Carl Bostic, Arise News, Gaza.